Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to kind of go in a little bit different directions from the videos we have been making. And I'm going to show you a cool little effect that you can do. This is more of a special effect that you can apply to some of your images. Uh, it really doesn't matter the type of image that you, uh, that you do this to, but I've seen this mostly in portraits. And so I'm going to kind of show you how to mimic this effect in Photoshop. So basically the effect is kind of like a, uh, a light trail effect. And what you're basically doing is surrounding your subject in light um, and, and sort of like maybe how you would move a flashlight around uh, and the, the camera would pick up the trail of the flashlight. So we're going to try to mimic that in Photoshop. And so I have this photo here of a girl kind of floating. And basically what I want to do is draw a series of uh, loops around her and then I can add a glow to them and then I can erase them away to make it look like she's actually in inside the loops. It's very hard to explain uh, but let's hop into it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay so the first thing we need to do is actually draw our, our light trail effect and so there's many ways to do this you can use the pen tool in Photoshop if you're not familiar with the pen tool or if you're kind of scared about using it don't worry we can actually just use a regular brush now on the latest versions of Photoshop you have a couple different options up here when you select your brush if you go over here and grab your brush uh, you see one of the things that we need to make sure we pay attention to is smoothing so what you need to do with smoothing is actually turn that on all the way up to 100% uh, as an as example if I try to draw a circle like this see it's a very smooth smooth circle now if I take that off and go down to zero you can see it's not really that smooth and it's the same amount of motion that I'm doing here so what we need to do is make sure we have smoothing turned all the way up to 100 percent so now what we need to do is select the size of our brush so I have mine currently set at 15 I'm gonna have mine a little bit smaller than that so I'm gonna go maybe to 10 here uh, and what I'm gonna do then is grab a blank layer so I'm gonna get a blank layer here and all I'm going to do is draw, I'll, I'll do it quickly so you can see, I'm going to draw a series of loops. So I'm just going to go right here, go up, go down, go up, go down. And I'm, I'm not really caring exactly where I'm going with the loops. Um, I'm just kind of going around, make sure I hit different parts of the subject. So like that. So obviously it doesn't look like she's inside. That's where the erasing part comes later. But that's the kind of effect that you want to uh, to get. If you don't like it, obviously go ahead and Command Z, and you can just redraw your other one. I'm gonna go ahead and, and keep that one just as for this tutorial. But you can play around with the different shapes. Uh, you can even do kind of horizontal shapes and, and diagonal and all these kind of weird shapes. You can do that, and it's a it's a very fun thing to play with. So now that we have our actual shape we want to go ahead and start applying our uh, our color to it so we can choose any kind of cool colors we can we can do here uh, what I'm gonna do is actually open up and double click on my uh, my blank layer and go to the layer styles dialog box then I'm gonna go into color overlay and see if I want to choose a regular color just a solid color or I can untoggle that there and go to a gradient overlay I kinda like the gradient overlay it's just kind of a way of uh, varying up the colors here so I'm gonna double click on the gradient here and I'm gonna choose uh, some some different colors I'm gonna go with a more blue blue here so I'm gonna go to a lighter blue very light blue and then go over here and kind of choose another another style blue um, let's go there so very simple easy uh, pretty sure you have uh, added a color gradient before uh, so it kind of goes from a lighter blue over here to a darker blue over here and now we need to apply a outer glow so I'm gonna click on outer glow I'm gonna click on here and change the color again to match sort of the blue I'm not gonna go crazy with it um, just get a nice nice color there there we go and now I'm gonna play with the the blending modes the opacity and the spread and size so the blending mode I would most likely choose overlay if I'm going to go with a blending mode you can see it kind of blends in with the image a little bit better um, or I can go back to normal and just have it a really really harsh effect and just lower the opacity so you can see it's kind of got a little bit more of a glow to it play with the spread that's gonna 
kind of come off, how much it's going to come off of your line that you drew and your size, that's going to make it a lot larger. Uh, so we can really just kind of play with it a little bit. And it, this is all personal preference to your liking, however you want to do it. Uh, for here, I'm going to create one just basically like that. Let's, let's keep it that way and make it simple. So now I'm going to click OK once I have all my effects applied. And now we need to erase the, uh, the sections that we, we need to to make it look like she's inside this loop. So what I'm going to do is create a uh, layer mask, click right there, get my brush, and I'm going to take my smoothing all the way down to zero. That's going to give me a little bit more freedom to, to kind of move around and erase things as needed. I'm going to change my foreground color to black. And here is where I'm going to zoom into the image and start erasing the pieces. Uh, so uh, let's say this is this leg right here. Uh, that would obviously be inside. So I'm going to go ahead and just start erasing over here on this leg. Now, if you're erasing and you still see a little bit of a glow, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but we can just kind of play with that once we get there. This is kind of like a preliminary uh, piece of it just to see how it looks. So right there, and we'll get rid of that. So I have my, my foreground color set to black so I can erase some of this stuff. If I mess up, I can just change it back to white and start, uh, start bringing more things in. Um, so let's see, we got a loop there, loop there. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this part of it, just like that. There we go. And this is just the time consuming part of the whole thing. It's just finding where you want these loops to be erased. So this one's gonna go around her in the front and then this one's gonna go in the back. So we need to erase this part. Again, I can be a little sloppy with the erasing here and then do some final touches uh, after I see how it all looks. So there we go. Go back in here and add that back in if I need to. There we go. Um, and then so that's the back and then we can erase the hand just like that go here that's on her back so we need to erase this part all the way on the front so the effect is actually fairly easy it's just a matter of uh, erasing the pieces that you need to get rid of to make it look like she's inside. So over here, make sure you get close to the hand. There we go. And then go down here. And uh, let's see, that'll be in front of her, but could we erase it? Eh, no, let's leave it the way it is. So there we go. So now it kind of looks like she's inside of this of this loop. You can see it's kind of, um, you know, if I would have drawn this little section a little bit closer to the hair, I could have erased part of it down here, uh, which I actually think I might do. Um, maybe we can make it look like it's coming uh, through the hair. Let's try that. So we'll do it this way. And we'll go over here and we'll just kind of make it go right there. There, maybe it's coming through there. That's just kind of fun. Um, so there we go. That's kind of our effect here. And now what we can do is kind of emphasize it a little bit. We can add some, um, some uh, color grading to it. And what I'm going to do is just go in here into my adjustment layers. And I'm going to get, uh, let's say, a, you know, let's just go with the color mixer and just start playing around with these colors to make it kind of blend in a little bit, make it more of a stylized photo. So I'm just playing around with the color mixers. I usually don't use color mixing um, on uh, to, to color grade images. I usually use uh, LUTs or um, or maybe presets or something like that. But this is just a quick way of showing you that you can really play with the colors here. And there we go. I'll just keep it like that. So you can see that's the before, that's the after. Kind of warms it up a little bit. And now the last thing I'm going to do just to add a little bit of emphasis to this is create a blank layer get my brush again and I'm going to size my brush up a pretty good amount and go into my brush settings and I'm going to take my brush um, shape basically and just shrink it down to more of a really flat oval and I'm going to take my hardness all the way down to one uh, zero actually and uh, let's say we'll take my flow let's go down to nine or ten 
And here I'm just creating kind of a shadow. So it makes it look like she's kind of floating up there. It kind of gives that emphasis that there that there's a shadow down there. So as there would be if uh, if the sun was hitting her from the top, you would see a shadow beneath. Obviously, if your image already has a shadow, then you don't need to do this piece. But there we go. All right. So this is kind of what we started with. And then this is what we ended with. Now you can create more effects. You can actually get smaller, smaller uh, loops, I guess, around your, your model. Uh, different color loops are always fun. So just play with it. But this is kind of like the, the beginnings of kind of a cool little fun photo that you can play with and uh, make it really creative in your next portrait. All right, guys, thank you for joining me in this Photoshop tutorial. Hope you had a fun little time figuring all this out. It's a really fun technique, and you can really emphasize it a whole lot and really expound on it and make it a really cool effect in your photos. Thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleekland, and I'll see you in the next one.